Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in the city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes screaming through your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you I'm are anymore. You Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates on the walls of your own. Okay, I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. But someone's special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a wild world we live in? How lonely it is to wave through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, call, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... And how does that make you feel? Drift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. 
So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. This is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. What's the story back at the precinct? What is he back? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. I need to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this. Sir, a question, if I may. Sure. What will become of all this once you've finally decided to settle down? I hadn't thought about that. Settling down, I mean. Hmm. As I feared, wait too long and you might find it's too late. I've done my best to keep the cave tidy, but with those bats circling mm -hmm. above, it's bound to be doing that all damage. <clears throat> Master Bruce! Stop! Master Bruce! Bruce, I will not in good conscience allow you to go. You're outmatched by these assassins. What? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the predator. You may be! No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. 
That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. 